Hello, I'm Dr. Ramsey Amin, and I'll speak with you today about the hardness of bone or the softness of bone and how it relates to your dental implants or having dental implants. Most people think of bone as being bone. You think you look at your, your arm or your, your femur or your leg bone, that it's just bone. It's, it's one hardness. Actually, in the jaw, in the jaws, it's quite different. The upper jaw is typically very soft bone. And the lower jaw is a little bit harder of bone. And in the front of the mouth, the bone is more dense than in the back of the mouth. What does that mean? How dense your bone is has got a lot to do with how fast or how successful an implant is. The harder the bone is, generally the faster the procedure can be done because it's just stronger from the beginning. The softer bone sometimes has the consistency of styrofoam. It's really quite soft. You can actually squeeze it at times. Uh, there's four different types of bone that we classify in implant dentistry. One is called D1, and D2, D3, and D4. The best type of bone that we like is called D2 bone. It kind of means it has a hard outer shell and then a medium center. And that medium center is the, is the bone marrow. And that's where the blood and nutrients and things that keep our bone alive was. The really soft bone is found in the back part of the mouth. And that leads to situations where there's mostly bone marrow and very little of the hard outer shell. When I place implants in areas of very soft bone, in order to increase their success rate, I actually compress the bone or kind of squish it, make it from a, a softer, more styrofoam-like bone to more of the harder, denser outer shell. What does that mean to you? It means that you've got a higher success of the implant working out and taking. My own success rate is in the 98 to 99% range. And a lot of that has got to do with how the implant is put in, not necessarily the type of implant. It's much more important, uh, the skill of the procedure, and the skill of how the procedure is being done as opposed to the actual implant. Most implants today are very well manufactured and all of them will work quite successfully. Some have advantages and disadvantages. But your own bone quality is actually the most important. How much bone you have and what type of bone it is. And if the bone is soft, it can be converted to harder bone. The nice thing about dental implants is once you begin to use the teeth that are on the implants, they'll actually begin to make your bone more dense. So you will develop denser bones simply from chewing on it. Uh, just as if you, because you walk on your, your legs every single day, your bone maintains itself. If you didn't walk on your leg or legs anymore, you would find that they would atrophy or get smaller and go through a, uh, may need to go through a physical therapy type of um, a rehabilitation in order to get them working again. So jawbone, whether your bone is hard or soft, it can be managed quite easily. If there's any questions, please feel free to comment below, and I'll see you next time on the next blog. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.